welcome to now showing how are you good thank you thank you for having me here my pleasure where are you right now i don't think you're in india no actually you know uh, uh, i i'm in france right now uh, for some personal reasons so i've been here for almost now two weeks i came to india for jogi's promotions and then i flew back so i've been hai. here ji yeah so how is the khatirdari doing there all good all good <laughs> so um we begin a conversation on jogi but let me start um, all of you that uh, are watching this uh, show let me start by introducing ali abbas zafar's career he has uh, been directing some of the wonderful films which are blockbusters in 2011 he directed mere brother ki dulhan then in 2014 came gunde in 2016 came sultan in 2017 Tiger Zinda hai one of the highest grossing indian films in 2018 it was bharat he's worked with ranbir salman katrina and in 2022 you chose to write direct and produce a film a relatively smaller film in scale and budget called jogi so how is it a progression in your career ali so i think by the grace of god i've been fortunate enough to to do big uh, budget films you know um but but you know i started a company uh, which is my own company now after bharat and um, jogi is the first that company um so 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 what what the reason behind jogi is the reason why i came to bombay to make films because i'm not from bombay uh, yeah. i'm from dehradun i studied in delhi university reached bombay for me what was very important is that as a storyteller the story needs to have a really big heart you know uh with all my films i try to tell stories which are relatable which which reach maximum people um and i just felt that the story of jogi has a very beautiful heart and soul uh it's a story about courage it's the story about hope it's the story of standing against wrong you know um and and somewhere or the other the story was within me uh, and my co-writers sukhmani sadana and the people that i've been working for and they said that this would be the right film to start the company you know and uh, that is how jogi happened it's it's like the birth of az films in one way mm-hmm. um uh, so so uh, so i i just feel that maybe the other films that i have directed are much larger in canvas mm-hmm. which much bigger stars but i just feel that jogi has been very very challenging for me and i just feel that it has a very big heart um and now i'm realizing it even more because the kind of love that is coming towards me post release of the film yeah. um uh, and it's my first ott film you know uh, yeah. which is very unlike theatrical films because in theatrical films usually we we also uh, get love through the numbers that the film is doing at box office but there is hardly a real day to day interaction but but on ott it's like people are watching it all over the world you know so so when you get uh, a message from an american or a, or a british or a german or a french or whatever you know so then you understand that your work is resonating yes. um with different people with different yes. cultures and and i think that has been uh, the biggest victory uh, for jogi that it is it is Tra- traveling uh, you know just just not in india but all across the world um so yes yes so that has been that has been my journey with jogi so you mean to say this movie because of the moral compass that you have to balance out uh, here in this project uh, is more closer to you because that is a parameter of for your success as a director to handle a subject like this as opposed to just a romance or a, a large scale entertainer where your your primary um, idea and purpose is to entertain now um i watched jogi and it was a little 
little little disheartening and a little disturbing um there have been several other movies made on the same theme some of them one of them was amu there was this a very nice film a web series called grehen there was 31st october so there have been a uh, nice work done by people before but um uh, uh, hats off to you for really sensitively handling this um project where it was not just about the genocide against the community it was also about the friendship that emerges and that's one story that is common to many of such incidents that has happened all over the world the human aspect of of, of such crimes against humanity now i uh, i am a poet ali and i have written the po uh, poem called communal harmony which became very very popular i don't understand the science behind writing i don't understand why a one person's actions its repercussions should be borne by an entire community just because they bear the same surname or the same religion or the same caste i don't even understand why can religion uh, make one community a community everybody is so different a kashmiri is different from keralaite and a west bengal a person is different from rajasthan what has been your emotional journey going through this process also because you are also an indian uh, you have been you were born somewhere in the 80 is you've seen the 80s and the 90s and all the socio political happenings of 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 the last 3 4 decades what was your emotional journey see you know as you said very correctly that this is uh, there is always some heart breaking stories in the time of chaos in the time of uh, in the time where a human start not to behave like humans you know when there is a mass murder of humanity um a lot of text has been written all over the world whether it's the first war whether it's the second war whether it's been stories in iraq whether it's been stories in afghanistan whether it's been stories of indian partition 84 um as you said correctly what what inspired us as a team and especially me and diljit was to find a human story in the middle of this chaos you know uh, because every every such instance which is 84 which is the ntc crimes which happened in delhi uh, the pattern in every every riot is the same you know i always say that uh, there is a difference between we as individuals and we as mob a mob does not have a religion Mm. a mob does not have a sentiment mm. a individual has a sentiment mm. a single person has a sentiment and that is what jogi is all about it's about individual it's not about mob it's yeah. not about the identity of the people who's creating the disturbance it's about the identity of the people who are saving the individuals mm. um so 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 the thought is very clear you know um you know i I've, i've been following uh, the love that is coming towards the film and and what is the maximum tweets uh that that i get on my timeline is the last line about the film that in the time in the time like this what stands up is courage uh friendship and hope yes. that is the essence of joki it is about communal harmony it's about coexistence which india stands for you know we've been coexisting for so many years and then times arise where suddenly one community gets targeted and 84 is horrific when we went into the research it is one of the darkest chapters in the history of india mm. and there are a lot of people still waiting for justice to happen for that yeah. which is even more painful so there was a lot of responsibility on my shoulders on my team shoulder on diljit shoulders to actually tell a story which does not propagate hate it was our responsibility a thing that it should not divide people it should yeah. not come across as as a film that is creating division between the community which is which is because because the wounds of people who suffered 84 are very fresh and they are still not uh, you know healed and i don't think so they will heal ever so as a yeah. filmmaker as an individual who wants to tell a story it's mm. very very important for us to be very sensitive to what has happened and to yeah. portray 
with the help of fiction in the right light that people who see the film understand that this film has been made to bring people together to yeah. to 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 kind of believe that that we have to come out very yeah. strongly from it and we yeah. make sure that we don't repeat this history again and again with any community with any section of people uh, anywhere in the world you know so so that is the core value of uh, so called jogi you know of course so i my take away from the movie were two things uh, ali one that uh, one the entire community should not bear the brunt of the actions of one person this is so bizarre the science of writing is so bizarre how people see people as one group and the third and the second one was i have truly seen how friendships become even stronger in times of distress uh, i personally have seen such times in the 80s and 90s and i related uh, to those moments in your film where people actually came together and there were like these personal biases that kind of opened up for a moment but then they kind of the wounds were healed um with hitein tejwani's track and you had a wonderful cast there mohammad zishan and you hitein tejwani kumud mishra a very good uh, casting there now let me come to diljit dosanjh uh once diljit had told me in an interview uh, that uh, of course he's this global star now all his musical shows get sold out he sings and then he acts and uh, he started his career with singing gurbanis in the gurdwara so amazing journey there and he has quite a fan following all over the world he told me that i uh, don't get to do so many big films because they asked me to get rid of my turban or cut my hair which i will never do and i saw in this movie that he um, not in real not in reality but he did get rid of the hair for the for the scenes uh, one um, uh, of course it was a tremendous casting there with dilji dosanjh how did you get him uh, among his uh, brainless schedules that he has and um, and how was it working with him considering that you worked with salman and ranveer and katrina somebody like him who's more of a comprehensive artist not just a performer but a, not just an actor but also a performer well but it was it was uh, <laughs> i i won't say it was difficult because you know um, i have i really like him on camera i just feel that uh, you know like how a salman is super charming on camera and so vulnerable masoom on camera diljit has the same property and i think like he, people love him across you know even if you see his punjabi films you know he's a very lovable person on camera so when when we came uh, to a conclusion that yes we want to do jogi uh, and and the idea was that who should be the character who portrays jogi um i had no choice i just told himanshu to mera who is my partner uh, and i said himanshu the only person who can pull this character is diljit and if he does not say yes to this film i don't think so we should even make the film because like how you said very correctly that first of all he belonged to that community uh, which faced so you know this this whole ntc crisis second of all i i wanted a sick to play jogi's character i didn't wanted anyone from the indian film industry to put a turban to grow a beard to portray that character but why so the person who's worked with so many times salman actually played a member of the sikh community in his last film antim you could have got hmm. him too yeah but you know uh, some somewhere or the other i just felt that a film like this needed uh, a much larger truth than just being a brilliant actor which i think diljit brings in also the thing is that you know he is a very very proud sardar he is a very proud sikh and and i think somewhere or the other he puts that very honestly in front of the entire world and the community loves him for that you know i respect him for that i just i am very when 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 you are proud of who where you come from and and that proudness brings a lot of brightness and happiness i'm really i'm really enamored by people like that you know Yeah. he he is a very hopeful person yeah. and i said uh, bhaji you know this is the script that i want to make i picked up the phone he was in america uh, and in 5 minute he said aap kya banana chahte ho mere sath because he thought i might be wanting to make a comedy film with him or something yeah. like that yeah. and i just narrated him the story for 5 minutes and he became numb um, and i was like you know uh, 
हाँ करना है नहीं करना है समझ आ रही है ही जस्ट सेड इन टू लाइन मैं कर रहा हूँ मैं ये फिल्म कर रहा हूँ आप मुझे बताओ कब आना है कहाँ आना है मैं आके खड़ा होता हूँ एंड एंड दैट रिएक्शन फॉर मी वॉज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग अफर्मेशन दैट दिस स्टोरी आई नीड टू से बिकॉज इफ इन टू मिनट्स इन टू मिनट्स इफ अ मैन कैन रिएक्ट like this then this is the story that i need to take in front of the audience mm-hmm. and then when we wrote the entire script uh, and he read the entire script i asked him is there anything that you feel is objectionable in the film anything that that you don't agree with uh, because for me that scene in the bauli when he takes off his turban and you know to survive and he gives that sacrifice you know like even in sikhism qurbani is a very big thing you know and something which is so close to your identity i was like baji do you think this he says he said he said nothing nothing is objectionable because this is the reality nice he says this is the reality and he says for what he is doing in this film for the character of jogi what he is doing in this film mm-hmm. this 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 thing is very important for him to do mm-hmm. Oh, uh, so I don't think so. Anyone will have an objection, and and the way the film finishes, you know, when when they re uh, uh, you know re uh, put that turban back onto him in the climax of the film, they yeah. gave him the kara, you know, yeah. and and the color of that turban is blue. Blue is the color of valor, you know. It's mm-hmm. the color of uh, you know when Sikhism stands for the valor, which we can all. now the it's in their history whether in the history of the gurus of uh, sikhism you know and and so so i just felt that what he does in the film to save lives you know uh, i just felt that 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 outcome that that coming to the full circle yeah. Um, yeah. and he does not survive to see that all the people he is saved because that's the that's even in his personal life he makes that promise to his mother at uh, the middle point of the film that i will get the daughter back you know, i will get her back so so these were all the small things obviously now when we talk in retrospect they all feel but but what we essentially wanted to make was a human story you know i was very um, impressed by the way you have recreated trilokpuri of the 1980s i have no vision of that i was not in delhi at that time and um, uh, i i i went through a little research where you had said that you created those sets in film city or something like that just let us go through the production design how did you shoot this and in how many so days? so so actually you know this whole film as we call it is a covid baby it was it came out of covid because uh, after the first wave uh you know netflix when netflix came on board for this film and mm-hmm. they said uh, you know diljeet had a uh, certain uh, number of days free and we had mm-hmm. to do this film and i wanted to do it in winters because mm-hmm. you know october going into november because there's a certain mist that you have in northern india around that time you know and especially in 84 now the climate has changed a lot but you know in 80s and even till early 90s october used to get cooler you know yeah. um, and with all the research material that we had i said diljit we need to do this film um, in a certain like any the bhaji i'll come for 40 35 days can you finish the film i said yes and then we raised set in the film city and why we raised set in the film city because i just felt that you know when we went for location hunt into trilokpuri and around those areas i said you know when i saw the faces of people i could feel that I, the fresh the, the wounds are very fresh i said i don't want to desanitize anything and i don't want these people to again start feeling the pain so me and himanshu took a very very conscious decision um and thanks to netflix because they came in the support because the budget of the film was going higher and i said that all the riots i i have to recreate on the set uh in a controlled way because i don't want any real people who's gone through that trauma of 84 to witness this again um and with our production design team which is acropolis rajneesh and sumit basu very senior production design we mapped the entire trilokpuri into the film city and we wow. created a huge set there 
which is where his house is, where those gullies of the Lopuri is, where they burn down everything. All of that, yeah. I think, we, re- we, we recreated in the Lopuri uh, in Film City so that we can do justice to what that you know street went through in 1984. Wonderful. And uh, moving on from Jogi, uh, my last two questions, Ali. Um, we all know about this beautiful film called Tiger Zinda. The first film was done by Kabir Khan, but the second one was uh, by you. And I think you gave that some magical touch because of which the franchise is kind of attributed to you. People say that this Ali Abbas Zafar ka touch hai, jo magical touch hai, wo aani sakta dobara. Yet, when it comes to its third part, which is Tiger 3, you are not directing it, Mani Sharma is directing it. Why so? This whole thing about Tiger uh, 3 was happening. Uh, uh, um, he, he called me, I went and met him. But at that point of time, I was busy with some commitments. Uh, you know, and uh, I said, sir, you please let me go on this one. And he said, nay, if you have the commitments, you, you obviously I understand. And but I'm very happy on the front that Manish is taking forward the franchise, which which I, I really like his work, his sensibility is very different from mine and Kabir. And I see the owners of this film goes to two people, Adi and Kabir, because they were the first people to start this character, yeah. you know, um, and it's their legacy together. Um, I, I came in in the second part, I got my individuality to the film and now the third part is getting made by Manish who has his sensibility. So I think all three films will look different and, uh, and I say this to all Salman Khan fans that they will have a oh, huge wow. treat on, on the coming Eve and I wish them all the best and I hope this film will break all records and open bumper on box office, which it will. Um, so yes, that is the reason. Um, okay. But as I say that I'm working on something uh, for Salman sir and very, very soon, inshallah, I will bring back something very exciting uh, for his fans because they shower a lot of love on me and everything I do. And I love working with Salman sir, honestly, you know. Uh, he's, he's, he, he, uh, uh, he and I have a, a very uh, nice relationship, you know, where he can say anything to me and, you know, I can be very honest with him and we have had great collaboration and once he likes what I want to meet with him, once I share that with him, then maybe we'll, we'll come back and do something really, really cool together. Wonderful. And Ali, internet says about your production house that in 2022, you've had Jogi written, produced and directed by you. Then there is Bloody Daddy and then there is uh, Chote Mia Bade Mia, right? Yes. So, yes. So, so on Bloody Daddy, which is a film with Shahid Kapoor, uh, we are almost done with the film. Uh, we are in full post-production. Um, we will be ready towards the end of the year. And um, what I'm starting next is Bade Mia, Chote Mia with Akshay sir and Tiger. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's nothing to do with the old Bade Mia, Chote Mia. It's just the title. It's a completely brand new film. And it's a big, big action film that we are shooting all over the world. And, and I start shooting for it uh, early January. So, so this, is, this is what my schedule looks like right now. And I'm very excited for Bade Mia Chote Mia because, because to do an action film with two quintessential best action heroes in the country, uh, Akshay sir and Tiger Shroff is something very, very challenging. So yes, we are, we are in the process of just finalizing the script. Uh, my recce is done uh, and action team is on board. We are pre and soon you will hear a lot of news about Bade Mia Chote Mia. Great. So that's lovely. Uh, Ali, I must uh, ask you to tell your wife that Atika said that Alicia, look, Ali chose to spend time with you rather than directing Tiger 3 and spend time with Salman. So you better know that I'm a good husband. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely show this bit of interview to her. <laughs> <laughs> because that is something that we Indian viewers are really proud of. We like your direction. We like the way you approach the storyline. You are the one who changed Salman's 
uh, image in a way uh, in Sultan and people started to say, wow, Salman acts so well. And actually the man behind that was you, Ali. So uh, come back in action very soon and we want to see you, uh, see much more of you and I hope your production house does really good job in future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.